Right to a Fox News alert, Hurricane Matthew strengthening overnight as millions of Americans prepare for what could be the most devastating hurricane to hit the East Coast in more than a decade. The super powerful hurricane roaring through the Bahamas right now, pounding the islands with winds well over 100 miles an hour and growing. Yep, uh, the storm expected to reach Florida late tonight or early tomorrow. Schools closed, flights canceled, and millions now forced to decide whether to hunker down or evacuate just to escape the deadly storm. And now the unbelievable possibility that Matthew could hit the U.S. twice. Yeah, that's just crazy. Uh, we have Fox team coverage. Brian Yenis is live in Sebastian Inlet, Florida, where the waves are already churning there. But we start with Janice Dean tracking new warnings. Janice, I understand it sounds like the feeder bands are starting in South Florida at this hour. And we were hoping the storm wouldn't be as strong, but actually it's getting stronger. Yeah, and uh, the National Weather Service out of Melbourne, Florida, have issued a statement with dire warnings saying that they could see unprecedented damage from Hurricane Matthew along the East Coast. Category 4 storm, we think it's going to be strengthening as it potentially makes a landfall, but whether or not it makes a landfall is not the issue. We're going to be dealing with a Category 3 or Category 4 major hurricane all up the East Coast for a period of 24 to 36 hours. And this is a strengthening storm. You see that eye, that small eye there? So overnight, we have seen the winds get stronger, 125 mile per hour sustained winds moving northwest to 12 miles per hour. We're going to start to see those conditions go downhill across South Florida this morning. And then the closest approach to the eye wall, which is the strongest core of winds, is going to make its approach to West Palm Beach Thursday tonight at around 10 p.m. And then an all night event overnight into Friday and into Saturday. Then it's a Georgia, then it's the Carolinas problem. But this is a huge deal. They could see, again, Category 4 major hurricane bringing the worst of the storm surge, the worst of the rain, the worst of the core of winds all up and down the Space Coast. And again, 10 million people under hurricane warnings. If you have not evacuated, your time is running out. This is not a drill. This is a life or death situation. Your forecast path, again, this is a 5 a.m., the latest. Look at that. Category 4 storm kissing the coast with 145 mile per hour winds overnight tonight. It's going to continue into Saturday, and then we'll have to watch this as there is the potential for it to loop back into the southeast. But first things first, this is a serious, potentially life threatening situation for the east coast of Florida. You need to listen to your local officials. Hey, Janice, do you think it's going to hit all at the same time, or is it going to move up the coast? Will this move in like a wave, or will it just go up north? It's gradually? just going to be an ongoing beat up the coast, up the coast uh, and pretty slow moving as well, which is going to add to the problems of the east coast of Florida. So, I mean, this is a this is a storm they're going to be talking about. For a very long How does time it affect the folks in the Gulf area of Florida? They'll just get a lot of rain. That's a good. Actually, that's a very good question because the the storm is strong enough that we have tropical storm warnings inland, even to the west coast of Florida. So they potentially could see the rainfall, the winds, not like the east coast, of course. But that just shows you how strong and how big this storm is. That it is going to affect the Gulf Coast of Florida as well. All right, uh, Janice, uh, get back to your uh, weather alerts. Keeping you up to date all morning. Of course, you've done a great job so far. Thank you. Thanks.